<clears throat> Hello, friends. Seems my voice has uh, changed a bit due to the cold. <clears throat> anyway, today we will learn about floating and sinking. Have you ever wondered why some things float and some things sink? Let's learn about floating and sinking today. Hmm, what causes some things to float and some to sink? Well, it's all about something we call density. Ah, <laughs> don't worry, let me explain this. Everything around us is made up of small molecules. In some objects, tiny, little objects called molecules are tightly packed together. And in others, they are loosely packed together. This is actually what density means. The objects that are tightly packed together have a higher density, and the more loosely packed objects aren't that dense. Whatever objects sink are more dense. See the stone? These marbles? And yes, these coins. They all sink in water because the molecules are jam-packed in these. Similarly, whatever objects float are less dense. Like this rubber ball. This plastic bottle. Um, and this lovely balloon. They all float in water because the molecules are loosely packed in these. Ah, some boats and ships are large and would seem very dense, but they still float. To understand this, let me explain the Archimedes Principle. It states that any object immersed in a fluid is acted upon by an upward or buoyant force equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. The ship has a long and wide base, because of which the amount and weight of water displaced by it increases. So, as the weight of displaced water increases, the buoyant force exerted by the water also increases, and the ship floats on water. So, if the buoyant force is equal to the object's weight, then the object will float. If the buoyant force is less than the object's weight, then the object will sink. But, you must have heard in the news about some ships that sink in water. When the weight of the ship is more than the maximum possible upthrust, then it sinks to the bottom. Can you show some objects that sink and some objects that float? Yay! Some sinking objects are coins, iron nails, glass, stone and marble, and other things. Some floating objects are bottles, paper clips, cork, plastic balls, and balloons. Now, you know a lot about floating and sinking. I'm going to have some ginger tea for my throat. <coughs> bye bye, friends.